So this week I'm most excited about getting our 2G through 5G capability out in front of user groups as much as I possibly can. Try to get as many business to business engagements and really introduce our new product to, to the user groups. So Octasic being a company that's very uh, heavily involved in the chip and board business, we've taken our software defined radio and we've repackaged it into a low swap format. Uh, that format's called the SOCOM modular payload standard. What we've done is we've taken all of our technology we've had over the years in different form factors, different channels, different capabilities, et cetera, and we're putting it in that small form factor to make it more modular so it can be integrated on many different platforms. So for the longest time when it comes to capabilities such as ours, swap or size, weight, and power has been a constraint. Uh, what we're doing now by repackaging it into that mod payload form factor is we're able to get on much smaller platforms both on the ground, in the air, and down at, down at the sea. Um, I think this is unique because we can take our capability to more of an organic level at this point. It doesn't have to be a national level collection asset. It can be at the team or squad level, and they can have the same capabilities organically to their units, whereas they had to go much higher to get that technology before. So our capability, uh, as I said before, kind of organically gives that, that technology to the much, much smaller units, and I think it helps out by providing insight into what's happening on the ground versus relying on national level assets. So now ground units are able to kind of use this capability at their site and pull all of the relevant information from their collection and use it to action targets at a much smaller um, size than what they had before. So Octasic US uses AI and ML to speed up our network scans, to help correlate data, um, to package things up appropriately so you can have access to the data a lot sooner than you would have before. As we move forward and add different technologies to our suite or different capabilities to our suite, we'll utilize AI and ML to really speed up the process. So Octasic currently has a CRADA with C5ISR, so that's kind of our entry point into the DOD and US SOCOM. We're utilizing that relationship to develop applications and different portions of our technology so we can be more relevant to the ground fighter. Um, I think that having this technology and this capability at the organic ground level is going to greatly enhance um, uh, the operational picture and op tempo on the ground with access to this type of technology.